Hi everyone, welcome back to your channel. I'm here with another tutorial from series of the SQL. And in this session, I would like to explain how you can get a backup uh, from your database and also how you can restore that backup into your database with the help of the PG Admin. If you are interested in this topic, please stay with me and let's get started. Okay, uh, first of all, you will need to open running the PG admin and also install the Postgres. If you are new in my channel, I will drop the link at the top of this video. Then you can watch that video how you can install the PG admin and also uh, Postgres DB. I'm assuming everything is okay and is up and running. Then you would need to come here to your database, designated database. Then right click and then you would need to come in uh, the item backup. So click on backup. Here you have to define the name which you would like to uh, have it. I'm writing IoT2, something like that. Then you would need to define your format, which I would prefer to have the tar, uh, the format of my file. And then uh, you can define the, the for the security. And also you can define the role name, which for, for my case, uh, it's not important, but that is the role which you define for your uh, database. Then uh, you can here to define the, the data. So I'm using the pre-data data and also the post data. And here in the objects also, you can define the which table you would like to uh, take the, get the backup. But for my case, because I want to take all, so I keep it as a default and in this way. Then you would need to click on backup button. And here you go. It will start everything and it will show you the, the, the process as well. So you see that before, so I have done and it will show you that uh, it already finished okay but if you want to see the where this file already is dropped is basically is going to the user uh, if you have the specific name and then it's a name and in docu so you can click on here in view details and then you will find exactly where is the location of the that file and you can capture the file uh, from the uh, details for my case uh, it's a, exactly you can see this the iot2 here it's already it's uh, in this folder so I'm, I'm going to that folder to pick up the file and then drop it in somewhere else after that I want to restore this data okay as you can see now you you uh, IOT2 I captured this file and now I dropped it in some folder I'm getting back to PG admin and I'm going to define one new database and I'm going to define a test three and save it okay then let's go to the test three here it's a new database and again right click on that one and here it has a backup exactly at top of the backup you will see the restore so in restore you have you have to define your uh, custom uh, the the format of that as a tar and then you can uh, define the directory here 
or you can select with the uh, with this button to define your directory you know? so I am I click on that one and probably maybe you see there is no file here just you need come here to select the all files then you will see that file after that it open and then if you uh, these are not uh, not required or we can say not mandatory then if you remember we define as a pre data data and also post data so you would need in the data options to turn on these buttons and after that you can click on restore and it will show you the the process and now you can see restore successfully is done so let's uh, just only refresh this DB and let's see the tables here we have account account job employees job new info and also in IOT let's see we have the table as an account, account job, employee job, and new for just for just only for validation. Let's check like this account to see that how many data is inside and compare with the IoT to make sure everything is correct. Just query two and select everything from account and it's there is only one raw data okay I'm going to do the same for IOT let's query to and paste here here you go exactly the same data I can find uh, in test 3 and it's a core so there is no any problem here okay perfect uh, I, we completed our tutorial for this session in next session I would like to explain that how we can do this process as an automatic which we can define the, some uh, coding and do this process for the backup uh, in, uh, in a specific interval as a, for example hourly, daily, monthly or even yearly which is very uh, common in all the projects so if you are interested at that topic please stay tuned and we'll upload a new video about this and if you enjoyed from this tutorial please don't forget to like button and share and help me share this video and help me to uh, populate this video if you didn't subscribe to my channel please do subscribe and if you have any question don't forget to uh, to drop your uh, question or suggestion in comment below thank you again and see you next one